stupid doctor said I was going to die today. It's the only diagnosis they can give you properly is your death. And as for my doctor, well, he's all just sending all his patients to the afterlife to meet their forefathers. Tis me, my lord. Did you bring him? No. No, no priest wants to absolve your sins. They said not even the Pope themselves could confess you. Why are you so worried? I'm your service 30 years. I am, of course, going to church once. Except to wash our eyes out of some pretty thing. Yeah, well, if I die before repenting, they will bury me in a cemetery like some dead dog. <laughs> Uh, yes, your dear lady won't know where to go to cry and put all their flowers for you. Oh, don't worry. One week come after all. After the church went to the monastery by the city gates and spoke to them there. At first the priest was rather angry and shouted me a lot, but he did calm down and shouted more quietly. <laughs> well, what did he say? Come on, out with it. But, I'll repeat about the uh, profanities. He said, No one dares cross the threshold of your house for fear of becoming infected. Oh, you fools. You don't explain I'm not dying of a contagious disease but some jealous husband stubby in the back. I couldn't get a word in any way. He did call your illness, though, the disease of adultery. In the sense that anyone who comes within about uh, five steps of you they bound to start dragging after women. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I spoke to him, he said he'd calm down, and, and but at least one of his monks did. This young fellow stepped out of this crowd and goes, Father. <laughs> he says, Father! <laughs> Let me see the soul of this grand sinner! You did say, it is their job. I will warn you, though, Master, to save your soul is a Herculean effort. I mean, are you really going to tell him everything? That is why confessions are called confessions. I'm afraid you won't have time to warn him. Speaking of, why? I mean, really? Have you chosen to decide to die today? Yes. Uh, do you know why, Lebrillo? Because the doctor said to. Uh, because for 15 years I've been sick of looking at your face. Now, oh. why exactly do you ask? How not to? Uh, do you remember? Oh, I'll, uh, I'll drag you off to hell with me. <laughs> do you remember that one? I... Can't say I do. Oh, come now, Lefrello. Do you remember when we came back to town we heard the, the rumours of how I'd supposedly seduced Donya Anna and her husband's statue standing yes. on his grave <laughs> drag me back to hell? <laughs> oh, yes! They buried him in the garden! And took it, he rose out of curiosity to see what was going on. If they buried him properly in a cemetery, he would still be lying there. Well, why did you ask if I was going to die today? Well, it's, it's like a family. One of the spouses is lying there, dying, and the other is mourning and crying. But on the inside, there's a tremendous sense of relief and ease washing over them. Same with me. When I heard you were about to die, I said, hey, Luparello, 15 years, you have served your master faithfully. And as the Holy Scriptures say, naked thou shalt come, naked thou shalt go. <laughs> Good thing it happened to me, Don Sebastian, though. You know him. I don't believe I do. Does he have a pretty wife? Alas, you didn't know her. For 30 years. Oh, since he has a wife, how can I know? Well, you <laughs> same old story. On learning you were about to uh, kick the old bucket, Don Sebastian immediately suggested I go to him. He's willing to pay me double. For what, your clumsiness? Come now, I am a servant of the legendary Don Juan! What camarero would not want one like me? Yeah. Don't worry, though. When you're gone, I will carry on as your shadow, as your memory. Why would Don Sebastian want a memory of me? Right. Now, here's the thing. The old man is lonely. And he wants to marry. And the young girl he set his eye on shudders at the mere sight of him. He is 
between you and me, very ugly man. Kind of which God very seldom creates, only when he's particularly angry with the human race. <laughs> but he is rich. And he decided if he can get himself such a uh, <clears throat> illustrious servant, he will be able to get her heart no problem at all. But, you know, as you know, Master, I have only had one love in my life. <sighs> Come on, <laughs> Really, I'm one of those maids, you know, when they brought their mistresses to me, what did you do with them then? Uh, <laughs> Besides, you, you're distracting me here. You are going to tell me why you're confessing. I mean, you're meant to be a reasonable man, and here you are, believing in the afterlife. Well, you see all these books around here? Yes. Yeah, all of them. About your many adventures. Yeah, and not a single one of them with any truth. If I'm to die today, I want at least one man to know the entire history of my life. To know the truth. He didn't lie! The monkey really came! Come in! It's not hot! Well done, God! Come in! Is it a sleep? May I even do it wine? I don't drink wine. <laughs> so, you're the one. Uh, Yes, sir, uh, I am Don Juan, uh, that they speak of, noble, uh, uh, caddy nobleman, sixty oh, years Oh, we know that already. Do you know what a confession is? Do you know that God is listening? Um, what do the priests say? Don Juan, tell me honestly, why do you want to confess? Oh, well, I want to be buried as a human, Father. I think that people would be happy if they knew I died repentant. Yeah. And we'll say people do love the weak. You're sick with pride. Well, let's get started and you go for a walk. Alright, I'm leaving. You don't slow things down. It the doctor says by sunset he will be on his way. Yeah, that brother, you're getting in the way. I'm leaving! Yeah. <laughs> right, do you know what the point of a confession is? The Ten Commandments. Oh, yes, yeah, the Ten Great Commandments. I know them all, Father. Yes. Uh, the first, I am innocent of. I am innocent. I am innocent of a sin of uh, a worshiping a false deity. I have only worshipped the Father. Okay, yes. Let's, let's suppose I believe you. But what about the order? Thou shalt not kill. Oh, I've killed a jewel. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, Don Juan, since you've killed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not sure you quite understand the jewel. In any such case, one person shall die. Uh, and if the Lord has not been a fan of Don Juan, who isn't, uh, well, he would have let me die in such a jewel. Your audacity is unimaginable. Oh, Christ, I'm on hot. May I ask for some water? <laughs> of course! <laughs> But unfortunately, we only have wine. I the master and I have heard of these. No, 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 no. I ask for water. Uh, when the rainy season comes, have all the water you want and until. Listen here! That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, let's get this over with, Father, all right? Uh, I, I am sinful. I, I am guilty of all the, the sins on the earth. Oh, well, thank God you've confessed. Oh, Lord. Well, uh, apart from one, it's probably the sin that brought you to my doorstep. I, I am innocent of the sin of adultery. Uh, adultery, heavens! Have six hundred and seventeen women you seduced? Oh, oh, can I say, Father, that women cannot, as you say, be seduced? Uh, they themselves can seduce whoever they want. Tell me, that number 617, that's, that's quite a lot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who counted them? That's what people's rumours say. Oh, yes, people's rumours, the basics of arithmetic. Oh, okay then, all on one. Then you'll die without repentance. There is nothing more for me to do here. More wine! Oh, Holy Father, yes, please, come take a seat. The master is, in a way, correct. All our women. Ah, treacherous creature have more. Treacherous creature! <laughs> that's quite enough. Right, I... Please hurry things along. You're only on the second thing. There are ten! Yeah, go get a dinner or something. 
Uh, sit down, Father, please. Have you changed your mind? We have come to a gold trade. Now, God and nature has given me everything to be happy, and wealth, talents, good looks. <laughs> but nature deprived me of one thing, the happiness of, of possessing a woman. I am, I am unable to father children. Say, can you keep the secret of confession? I, I want to maintain my, my legend. Yes, yes, I swear, Don Juan, but I, I'm not sure I understand. So you're telling me that 670 yeah, women... And none of them did I touch with my body. If I am guilty of one sin, it's that I nurtured some hopes in the, in the pure victims of the flesh. That is the, the duty of a man. I, I saved them. You saved them. Oh, he was saved. Oh, oh, sorry, Don Juan. <laughs> <laughs> they were unaware of your disability, and they were ready to give you everything. Uh, they were ready to receive the happiness that their husbands could not give them. Uh, I... Uh, <laughs> Ah, yes, your grace. Of course. Of 
called you, you wastrel. How could you not call me? I heard Liberato! Go, go. Fucking dinner, mate. My name was Adam. No, you've lost my guy. Don Sebastian, he's old and ugly, but he's noble and rich. Oh, but he can't teach her to fly. Uh, uh, now you're starting to understand. <laughs> Tell me, did you two meet? Oh no, impossible. I never dared approach her. I only followed her for a year and watched her behind the, the wall in the monastery church. <laughs> 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 oh, right. um, so you want me to teach you how to enchant a woman? Yes? Oh my god, a hundred times yes! Oh, I pray the Lord yeah, teach yeah. me! <laughs> That's quite enough. Uh, uh, I will teach you now. Now, uh, take off the brasso, take my camisole, the trousers, and get changed. Oh, very, very, very well. <laughs> because I know you'll be hungry and you'll get at me, I make cheese and wine. Where's the monk? Uh, he's getting ready to fly. Fly? Fly where? As far as I know, he is healthy and not about to die, unlike you. Oh, <coughs> fool, can we not fly for some other reason? Are you talking riddles? I get confused. When I get confused, the goose gets burned. When the goose gets burned, I get beaten for it. And when I get beaten, I... Who are you? How did you get in here? Oh, come now, you don't at least recognize the camisole. The monk? How oh, holy is that? didn't recognize you. Uh, you turn out to be quite handsome. <laughs> 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 uh, Leprano, if you were a woman, uh, what would you do if you saw such a fine coming out? That's easy. I was going to pass out and let him undress me. <laughs> 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 I'm going to take this punch off. It's completely wrong and a massive sin. I cannot do this. Oh, well, you're a monk. Three times in hell! Hey, uh, I'm not a coward! I just want to know the reason why you'd love to rip me open! 
open! Are you making fun of me? You killed my father, the Commodore, the husband of Donya Anna. I, uh, Commodore, the one who dragged me, uh, I mean him down. <laughs> Were you a secret husband to my mother? 